The surviving family members of the elderly couple and their two grandsons, who were allegedly slashed to death and set on fire at their home in Tanjong Sepat, are still grieving over their deaths. Tang said the 38-year-old suspect got to know the elderly couple's youngest daughter through the deaf and mute community circle. When the daughter and the suspect started a relationship together, the family was against it because she was married with two children then. Tang claimed that the suspect is good at opening locks since his family has a furniture manufacturing business and that he had broken into the deceased's house to steal money from them before. Meanwhile, MCA Youth Chief Datuk Chong Sing Woon, who offered his condolences to the victim's relatives, said MCA will provide support and assistance to the surviving family members of the deceased. Orang ramai yang mempunyai apa-apa maklumat berkenaan dengan kes ini supaya memberikan kerjasama kepada pihak polis atau memberikan maklumat supaya kes ini boleh diselesaikan dengan secepat mungkin ya supaya keluarga mereka tidak lagi uh, menderita dan kita berharap mereka yang menjadi mangsa itu bolehlah uh, mendapat keadilan yang sepatutnya the funerals of the deceased, Cha Ti Nang, Lim Mai Shak, Ryan Cha and Cha Yuan Bing, will be held Tuesday morning, while the suspect will be charged at Telok Tato Magistrate Court in Panting on the same day.